Chapter 13, Learning Objective 3, describe the major risk factors that affect the rate of return on investments. So we've got a couple types of risk. We've got random risk and market risk. Uh, we can refer to them differently. Um, random is, is uns unsystematic, is also called unsystematic or firm-specific risk. The This type of risk can be uh, diverse. Um, diversified away uh, by adding a, a significant number of stocks. Typically, the, the belief is that if you have a, a minimum of 40 stocks or you need a minimum of 40 stocks to have a diversified portfolio, the, um, you know, again, you can, uh, you can easily achieve diversification by purchasing a mutual fund or an exchange-traded fund. Um, there's also market or systematic risk. Uh, market risk is uh, considered virtually impossible to diversify away. Um, you, it is possible um, investors who have um, some uh, international exposure uh, can, in some cases, diversify some uh, market uh, or systematic risk away. Um, other types of investment risk. Business failure risk, I mean, that's still firm specific, but inflation, uh, inflation or purchasing power risk reduces your uh, your purchasing power, your ability to buy goods and services, so it's all uh, definitely a risk that you face. Uh, time horizon, the, one of the worst things you can do is invest in investments that mature beyond your investment horizon. Uh, you always want to be at or below short of your time horizon. Uh, business cycle risk, you know, the, um, again, business cycle risk and um, market risk are, are related. Uh, other types, uh, market volatility, liquidity. Liquidity risk is simply the, the, the possibility that you may or may not be able to convert to your uh, asset into cash at a reasonable price. Uh, reinvestment risk is uh, what we face in today's um, market because we potentially might have higher yielding invest investments that are maturing, but since interest rates are very low, it is possible that you are unable to invest in the, the, the in something with, that would earn the same rate. That is in reinvestment risk. Investment returns, uh, transaction costs or commissions reduce returns. Want to, just like any fee, you want to pay as low a commissions as possible. Um, leverage, or um, just like uh, or buying on a margin, may increase returns, but it also increases risk. Um, so, concept check uh, check thirteen three to distinguish between uh, random or unsystematic risk and systematic or market risk. Unsystematic risk is firm-specific risk, and it can be virtually eliminated with diversification. Systematic risk is market risk, and it cannot be diversified away. Uh, summarize three other risks that you may affect your investment returns. Inflation risk, liquidity risk, and reinvestment risk. The you know, inflation risk is simply the possibility that prices go up and your purchasing power uh, does does not rise accordingly or falls actually. Liquidity risk is the um, the possibility that you may not be able to convert your um, asset to into cash at a reasonable price. Reinvestment risk is the, when you have an investment and you uh, it matures or you earn interest and you're unable to reinvest that at a, at a similar rate. Um, ex explain how transactions costs and leverage can increase in, or decrease investment returns. Transactions costs reduce the earnings because they reduce the amount that you have to invest. Leverage can increase or decrease investment returns. The um, successful investments will perform better with leverage. Poor investments will perform worse.